But let's connect with the management of KEI Industries because the stock has been very active. It's been up by 137% on a year-to-date basis. Even today, it's quite upbeat, a percent and a half of an uptick coming in there. But let's get in more details about the business outlook from Anil Gupta, who's the CMD of KEI Industries. Mr. Gupta, great to have you with us on Hot Stocks. To start off with, super results delivered this quarter once again. And I specifically want to touch on the growth seen in turnkey projects, which uh, grew uh, even in the previous quarter. What has led to this jump? Uh, this, uh, this year in the first half, uh, first half of the financial year, we have grown in our EPC contracts by more than 100%. And uh, uh, is, apart from EPC contracts, we even we have grown in our uh, sales of our cables as well. So the overall growth uh, in terms of uh, revenues is around 25.87% compared to first half of the last year. And... Regarding the, the growth in EPC contracts, we have still have a strong order book position and uh, continue to bid for uh, new projects. And uh, uh, I expect that this growth volume will continue. Afternoon, Mr. Gupta. Morning, Radha. And I want to talk a little bit about the export component. That too has seen a smart growth of about 41% in the first half of FY16. Do you think that this is sustainable given the current macroeconomic backdrop? Yeah, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, in EPC side, our base is still very low. So the 41% growth as a percentage looks good, but, uh, uh, you know, we are still not satisfied. And we uh, definitely feel that given the current opportunities available, especially in the transmission and distribution side, we will uh, have a bigger chunk and we will continue to grow significantly uh, going forward. Okay, let's also talk about your margins that have remained flat on a year-on-year -year basis. Kind of surprising given the fall that we have seen as far as, you know, the cost of input is concerned. Have you been undertaking any price cuts? Naturally, you know, uh, we have to pass on the, uh, you know, reduction in the commodity prices to the customers uh, so far as the new order booking is concerned. And, uh, of course, uh, whatever orders if they are firm in hand, but we all also maintain the inventories. Uh, so we have to pass on the uh, cut in the input prices to the customers. Uh, but, uh, you know, in spite of the re significant reduction in the raw material cost by 12 to 13 percent compared to the last financial year, we have uh, grown our volume significantly and even uh, we are able to maintain our revenue growth in terms of rupees as well. So are you going to undertake any more price cuts? And what is the quantum and timeline? No. No. The, the price cuts are done in line with the, uh, gradually in, the, in line with the uh, raw material prices, input prices. So it is, uh, it is difficult to say that what uh, mo more price cuts we are going to undertake. Uh, it will be definitely in line with the raw material mo prices movement, input price movements and in line with the competitors and the industry. Now, Mr. Gupta, the market news indicates that the promoters are looking to sell stake in the company. Can you just clarify and give us more details if this is true? It is absolutely a false news and we have had, we never had any talks with any company for uh, selling the promoter stake. We are very much in business and we will continue to do so. We have no plan uh, in uh, many uh, tens of years to come to sell any stake. So it is a false rumor and should be ignored. 